now let's discuss this problem uh, the problem looks like a very big problem but let's try to solve it a series of figurate numbers uh, is built up as follows we are given the series there are uh, three series as a sample given and the series are going till rth term okay now from the above sequence of series it is obvious that nth term of any series the series is going till rth series in fact that the nth term of any series is equal to the sum of first n terms of the preceding series. So the general expression for the nth term of rth series in the sequence of series given above is. Now friends, it is not recommended to establish a formula uh, in case we are appearing for competitive exam. What's better for us just to go backward, okay? Here, we are asked the general expression for nth term of rth series. Suppose I take first term of first series, that is n is equal to 1 and r is equal to 1. So first term of first series is 2. So whenever I put n is equal to 1 and r is equal to 1 and I am getting 2, that will be my correct choice. Obviously, because we are establishing the formula for these series only. Okay, so whatever the formula over here, that is the general expression for every series. Okay, so just put n is equal to 1 and r is equal to 1. So whenever you are getting 2, that will be the correct choice. Okay, if you are getting more than one correct option, then in that case, we will go for maybe another set of values. Maybe n is equal to 1 and r is equal to 2, something like that. Okay, first of all, let's try with these two values. Let's see whether we get two in a single option and more than one option. So suppose I put uh, n is equal to one, r is equal to one in the option one. So it's two, one plus one plus uh, one, that is three factorial into two by one. That is, it's not two. Okay, it's much bigger than two. Then here we don't see any r, it's dependent upon n only. So it cannot be right choice. And still we can put uh, n is equal to one. Now, if we put n is equal to 1, what will we be getting? That is 3. So, even it cannot be the correct choice. Similarly, if I put n is equal to 1 over here, so it's 1 into 2 into 2 plus 1, 3 by 3. So, here I am getting 2, but this expression is not dependent on r, so it cannot be right choice because we are talking about rth series. And this expression is dependent on n only. Okay, now let's say this. It's 2, 1 plus 1 minus 1. That is 2 plus uh, 1 plus 1 uh, minus 1. That is 1 over 1 minus n minus 1 factorial. That is 1 minus 1 factorial. That is 0 into 1 factorial. So we are getting 2 over here. Okay, so this will be definitely a correct choice. If you wish to cross verify, you can put r is equal to 1 and n is equal to 2 and you should get 4, okay? And if you are not uh, able to recall this, that this expression is independent of r, then out of these two, if you wish to choose the correct option, you put n is equal to 2. So I just put over here 2 into 3 into 2 to the 4 plus 1, 5 by 3. And we are getting 10. But over here, the number is 4. Now, let's put n is equal to 2 in this expression. Though it is not required, but just for the sake of confidence gaining, I am doing it. Okay, so it's 2 into 2 plus 1, that is 3 minus 1, 2 factorial. Okay, divide by 2 minus 1, that is 1 factorial into 1 factorial, so it's 1. So, we are getting 4. That means, obviously, this is the correct option. Okay. So you saw that we have uh, done this problem with minimal paperwork, okay? But the problem seems to be lengthy and seems to be difficult, but actually it is very easy. You just have to assume the values for variables, okay? I hope you are clear.